and parents welcome back to my channel with another science tutorial video today in my today's video I am going to explain you one of the most important part of physics that is electric charge and electroscope so let's get started electricity is supplied to our homes from powerhouses through wires electricity that flows through wires is known as current electricity the charges in current electricity are in motion they flow through electric wires and gadgets there is another kind of electricity termed static electricity that does not flow if you keep your hand close to a TV screen you can feel that the hairs on your arms are attracted towards the screen this is due to static electricity present on the screen when your hair has dried after a wash a state when it is free from grease and moisture comb it vigorously with a plastic comb bring the comb near bits of paper and what will happen the comb attracts bits of paper after being rubbed with your hair let's do one activity here hang two inflated balloons side by side very close together but not touching each other charge one of the balloons by rubbing it with a piece of woolen cloth and release it does it attract the second uncharged balloon now charge the other balloon in the same way and release it what do you observe now you will notice that when one balloon was charged it attracts the second uncharged balloon but when both are charged the balloons repel each other every atom consists of a heavy central portion called nucleus containing neutrons and protons protons are positively charged and neutrons are neutral lighter particle called electrons which is negatively charged revolve around the nucleus in normal condition in an atom the number of electrons and number of protons should be equal so as whole it will be neutral deficiency of electrons means the object is positively charged and excessive electrons means the object is negatively charged there are two types of charges positive charge and negative charge like charges repel each other and opposite charges attracts each other An electroscope is an instrument used to test whether an object is charged or not. A gold leaf electroscope consists of a brass rod with a brass disc at its top and two gold leaves at the other end. The rod is inserted through a rubber or plastic stopper into a glass container. A tin foil is used to line the lower part of the inside of the glass container. The electroscope is mounted on a wooden base. The tin foil and the wooden base make the electroscope more effective. When two clouds with unlike charges come near each other, a huge amount of energy is released in the form of heat, light and sound during such a discharge. This is the lightning you see and the thunder you hear during a storm. Clouds can charge tall buildings and trees by induction with the opposite charge. If the build up of charge is very heavy, a discharge can occur between the cloud and the tree or building. This is called a lightning strike. A huge amount of energy released can even result in the building or the tree catching fire. To prevent damage to tall buildings by lightning strikes, they are provided with lightning conductors. A lightning conductor consists of a thick copper strip with a spiked end. The stripe is attached to the underwall of the building with the spikes raised above the highest point of the building. The lower end is connected to the copper plate buried in earth. The spikes accept any discharge from the cloud and conduct it harmlessly to earth. No damage occurs to the building. So, I hope my today's video will become helpful for your study. Do follow my channel to get good marks in mathematics and science. Love you study and bye bye for today.